She's a core member of one of the most influential groups in the history of music. Rosanna Chili Thomas, one third of TLC, took the industry by storm, changing the way that people saw female artists. But the women were met with controversy and tragedy, including the death of member Lisa Left Eye Lopez back in 2002. Our Phil Lipoff had the chance to sit down one on one with Chili ahead of a new documentary, TLC Forever, airing on Lifetime, which chronicles their painful yet prosperous journey. Let's first start by when you were approached to do the documentary, what was your, you know, what was your initial reaction? <laughs> we were... Uh, be honest. Yeah, no, no, no. At first, we, we, we didn't know, you know, because we were like, all right, we did the biopic and all that. And our manager was saying how we can really go a lot deeper and, you know, and just really tell more because the biopic only can cover so much. The fact that we get to talk about it and then Tion found all this footage of us. I didn't even know she still had that stuff. What was it like to dive into some of the more difficult things to talk about in this documentary? For me, I kind of hate to go there, but I know it's important, you know, and because um, you never know how your story can help people. I mean, just the fact that people come up to us and tell us about our songs, you know what I mean? And then we share our personal things that we actually went through and the fact that you overcome those things. See, that's that's the good thing in it. That's the blessing of it all is, you know, because we're all going to be faced with, you know, hard times and all that. It's like, oh, but can you get through it? Right. Even with us being together, we can have our arguments and all that kind of stuff, but like we're stuck. It's just us. There can be no replacements or anything like that. I mean, we would never replace Lisa. We, right. we couldn't. You guys pushed through that because mm -hmm. you, 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 you stayed together. Yeah, until unfortunately. I mean, we had to. We had to do it. It's either, you know, crap or get off the pot, you right. know? There's so, that too. Yeah. <laughs> so you were a singing group. Mm hmm You know, and back in the day, in the 90s, everybody was like, well, it's a rap group, or they tried to label you guys, tried yeah. to put you in a box, tried, looked at the clothes you were wearing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, there was one time Lisa was wearing a condom on her on her glasses, oh, right? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And was that a conscious decision, or is it just how, what you guys were, who you were at the time? No one said it to us. You know, we talked about it. It was, uh, we kind of looked at it like the condoms were accessories, you know? And so <laughs> normally, you know, people are, a little embarrassed to go and buy a box of condoms right. but you know you know obviously it's something that can save you right before the video came out radio did not jump on that song just yet because they didn't get it don't go chasing waterfalls okay please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to mm -hmm. what are they talking about and so when you saw the video, it brought so much life to the words. And that's when people were like, oh, shoot. Right. That's what they're talking about. You know, a waterfall is anything that is destructive in your life. Don't go chase that. Whether it's a relationship, you know, moving, whatever it is, you know, just don't, don't chase that. Is there a song that you did that you love so much that didn't? you know, make it huge and you think it should have? Well, I can speak for Tion too because we both, it's our favorite song. Case of the Fake People. That's when I decide to say goodbye, goodbye to all the fake people in my life. That was on Crazy Sexy Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That was your, that's your favorite song that, that was done? one of my favorites and we wanted it to be a single, but it was just, I don't know, it just didn't happen for whatever reason. And uh, I kind of looked at it like it was like a part two of What About Your Friends? You know, because yeah. fake people, I mean, fake people. I they're everywhere, stab you in the back, you everywhere. know, the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, everywhere. Like, you gotta be careful. Yeah, you do. With every tour being different, for various reasons, what are you, what are you hoping for this one? What are you expecting? Um, well, you know, touring is my most favorite thing. Besides being in the studio, I could be, I'm one of those artists that could totally be on the bus, like a bus tour, for like a whole year, you know? Like, I love it. I love to cook on my bus. On the bus. What is it? It's 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 a long time now, but mm -hmm. when you lose anybody, yeah. anybody in your life, mm -hmm. you know, and very few people know what it would be like to lose one of three in a group yeah. that that is world world famous. So very few people know that kind of loss, but. 
we've all lost someone we love. Yeah. And I know from personal experience, you know, even 21 years later, something will hit me in the face like a like a bag of bricks, mm -hmm. and then it'll be just like it was that day. Does, does that happen to you? And, and if so. What, what kind of things trigger it? Is it music or is it just a thought that comes past you? I'm gonna be honest with you. It, it could be the it could be the most random thing. Anything. It really can, and it's just like, wow, you know. Now I will say, every time, and I mean every single solitary time I watch our sleigh ride video, the Christmas one, mm -hmm. and at the very end when we say ha ha ha, you know, and the three of us are hugging. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And it's like a still shot. And I don't know what that is, but every time I see it, I'm just like, mm, like does something. Yeah, I it I don't know, I get choked up. Watching you guys hug on stage did that too. That does it too. In but, the documentary. but the video but the video and I've seen that a few times mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, it's more like that, but I don't know. It's it's something about that that particular picture at the end of the video, it just gets me. It you already have a legacy. Like TLC has a, an incredible legacy. You are like a living legend, uh, right? You're one part of a <laughs> three people in a group that's one of the biggest groups of all time. That's, that's just fact, and you've got so much more to do. You say that in the documentary, too. What, what do you see for TLC you know, moving forward? So we are currently working on our musical. That's in the works. So that, that's definitely gonna happen. So excited about that. Broadway. Yes. There's a lot of music there. I know. Right? Yeah, and we even talked about, you know, creating some new music for it, just however it comes together. But it's gonna be great, trust me, it's not, you're not gonna hear about it <laughs> unless it's gonna be unless great. Unless it's gonna be great, right? Yes. Anything that your music touches, whether it's new fans, <laughs> fans, I mean, seriously. This is what I said to you, it's, it's timeless music. Thank you. Your music, I, I have been listening to a lot of it since I knew I was going to be talking to you, and I'm, you could be on the radio today. <laughs> that, that's, that's a big deal. That's, that's why you're one of the biggest it's groups of all time. It's a blessing. Our thanks to Phil for that. The documentary TLC Forever is available to watch June 3rd, 8, 7 p.m. Central Time on Lifetime. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.